Hi everyone and welcome to Ivanti Security Controls. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of some agent REST API requests. So, let's get started. This video builds on information that is provided in a related video entitled Tips on Using the REST API Help. Now it's not required, but it might be helpful to watch that video before viewing this video. Let's start by querying for information about all of our current agent installations. If I consult the help, I can see that this is accomplished by using a simple GET request. Now I personally find that Postman is an easy to use tool for submitting API requests, so let's switch to that. I have predefined the agent GET request, and you can see the request format here. Let's click Send and see what happens. From the output, I can see that I only have one agent currently deployed in my simple demo environment. Many details about the agent are provided, including its ID. Next, let's check on the current status of the agent. I can switch to the help to find the correct format for the request. This tells me that I simply need to add the agent ID and status URL parameters to the original request. Let's switch back to Postman and give it a try. As before, I have predefined the request with the correct parameters. Let's click Send and see what we learn. So, here is the current status information for our particular agent. You can see the last time the agent checked in with the console, as well as the ID of the policy that is currently assigned to the agent. Now, I have the Security Controls console running, so for kicks, let's switch to it and see how this same information is presented within Machine View. And sure enough, here is that same agent information. Note that Agent Policy A is currently assigned to this agent. For our final test, let's use the REST API to assign Agent Policy B to the agent rather than Agent Policy A. First, I will need to determine the ID for Policy B. I can consult the Policies topic in the REST API Help to determine how to submit the desired request. It looks like it's just a simple GET request, so let's switch back to Postman and give it a try. Here is the information about Agent Policy B, and in particular, here is its ID. Now I just need to learn how to assign this policy to our agent. Back in the help, I can see that I will need to use a PUT request. The ID of the new policy will go in the body section of the request. Let's switch to Postman and see this in action. So, here is the PUT request URL. And here are the parameters that I will include in the body, including the policy ID that we discovered earlier. Let's submit this request. From the output, I can see that the request was submitted OK, and I can confirm that the agent was assigned a new policy ID. Let's verify this by switching to the console. The console is still displaying the old information. If I click Refresh, the display is updated with the new information. So that's a quick look at how to submit requests using the REST API. If you have questions about the REST API, be sure to consult the Help System. It contains a lot of great detailed information, plus several example exercises that you can use in your organization. Thanks for watching.